Today we are in the beautiful city of Hoi An, a city whose traditions are deeply rooted in Vietnamese culture. The ancient city and mesmerizing lantern festival has been at the top of the list since visiting Vietnam, so we are super excited to immerse ourselves in these local customs. We haven't crafted in forever, so I'm so excited for today's activity. Flamingos and it's pink. Oh, look at this one. That's pretty. That's real. That's so pink. I don't know. This one? I feel it's hard to say what it would look like on the pink. I know. That, but for you, more pink is never a bad thing. I know, but I love the flamingo. Whenever you say I know butt, then go with the butt. <laughs> oh, but even this one is cute. A nice blue. It's like a teal blue. I don't know. Looking around at the other ones, I kind of like a reddish one. Right. I was totally, I totally knew you were gonna go for a red one. There's some really nice red colors there. Oh, look at the dragon one. I like the red and gold, the dragons. Perfect for Tet as well. Perfect for Tet, yeah, yeah exactly. The year of the dragon, isn't it? So we need four, he said? Four, yeah. Four. Well, you are fast. I got my four. <laughs> You picked yours out so fast. They're all so pretty, so I don't know which one to do. This is like panic mode for me. <laughs> We're in the waning moments of being pulled to our table. She's like, this is even what I want. <gasps> no, I'm sticking with my pink. I love pink. Ready? I think we get going, yeah, let's see. Here we go. Hi. Take a seat there, my friend. Thank you. Look how much this table is being. You can definitely tell lots of lanterns have been made on this table. Yeah. I'm so excited. I love crafting. So, good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to our lantern making class and welcome to our family business. I will let you know why the lantern is very popular in Hoi An. Yeah? Everyone, you can see on my hand, this is the first style of the lantern in Hoi An. But this one is not from here. This one is original from China, the Chinese lantern. Yeah, uh, in the late 16th century, at that moment, Hoyanik was an international trading port, and a lot of people from around the world they came here to trade, like French, Portugal, Japan, and China. Many people from China they decided to live here. That's why until now, when you visit the old house, you can see some old house or pagoda. It's half Chinese architecture. Easy to see the Chinese people, they build the frame of the lantern by wood and cover outside the frame by the fabric. And the lantern easy to make them small like this. So very easy. The logo here, they are foul. One thing is very helpful of the bamboo. You can see the bamboo more flexible. Easy to bend them to get the shape they want. And the logo here, they are chained from wood to bamboo lantern. With the bamboo, the logo they created a lot of shape of the lantern, not the only one. And I show you the name of the one today you will make. Yeah? Garlic lantern. Big on the top like this, we call it sunrise garlic. And we have the one the upside down, we call it sunset garlic. And our lantern is special with the traveler because when you finish, you can fold them to be small. Very easy to bring home. The lantern, not only for decoration. The local here, they believe when we hang the lantern at the front or inside the house, it will bring lucky and happiness for the people living inside. More important, in the night time when we light them up, the evil, they scare about the light and the color and they don't come inside the house. So I hope today uh, you guys finish the lantern, bring home and hang it on. 
it will bring more lucky and more happiness for you and for your family too. When you go home, you should find and buy the lottery ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Choose your lucky number. Lantern bring luck and you will win the lottery. Yeah? And when you won the lottery, don't forget us. <laughs> Nervous. <laughs> it's always the hard part when you start a project and then like the starting is the hardest part. You're saying that there's all these different shapes of the lanterns, right? But there's also different types of lanterns here in Hoi An. So they've got the flower lanterns, which are the ones you'll see floating in the river. And there's also the ones at certain times of year where they actually like float them in the air and they are kind of like a little hot air balloon style. Really cool how much different styles of lanterns there are in this part of the country. And also in Hoi An, they have what's called the Lantern Festival at every full moon. And that's when they're like really shine. But to be honest, we've been here for a couple weeks and we didn't really notice a difference. They seem to just love the lanterns every night of the week. That is a broken rice. A oh, broken rice. Yeah. Good. Good. Finished product? Yes! Look at it! It looks so much better when they're on the light too. So we've yeah, got it all lit up. Beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Good teamwork. Good teamwork. Cool. Thanks to the team here as well, for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you. I love it. Such a fun experience and it was so cheap. We only paid $12 Canadian and it was a really fun activity. I would highly recommend that one. Yeah, absolutely. Something you got to do when you come to Hoi An because this is the home of the Lantern Festival here in Vietnam. Tradition that goes back hundreds of years like we said. It was really cool actually. We've been here for a couple of weeks now and we were able to experience the Lunar New Year that they celebrate here, Tet and it just had fireworks all throughout the sky the river was all lit up with the traditional boats and the lanterns and everything was just like really bumping that's for sure yeah well actually every night this river right next to us is full of these little boats that come down with the lanterns and so you can put your candle in the water and it's just absolutely gorgeous at night beautiful mm -hmm. Also another cool tradition when it comes to the Tet time of year, everyone gets the kumquat trees and they put them outside of the front of their house or their establishment as they believe that it brings good luck and good fortune to the family or the business throughout the rest of the year to come. And they say bigger the tree, more luck and um, fulfillment that you're going to get throughout the year. Yeah. So of course they go for bigger the tree. <laughs> yeah. And it's just cool to see because they're like these big, beautiful, almost orange tree looking trees, mm -hmm. but they're actually kumquats. Yeah, I thought they were oranges, but no, <laughs> yeah. they're kumquats. They're kumquats. <laughs> we've been here for a long enough time that we've gone around and gotten a taste of some of the local places to eat. It's funny because one of our favorite places to eat is this banh mi stand just mm -hmm. down the street from our hotel, which is where we're headed to next, our favorite banh mi lady. No! Our banh mi lady is not out yet today, guys. No! It's unfortunate because it's our favorite spot for lunch. It's a bit of a hit or miss sometimes. It's not like they have normal operating hours with these street food vendors. So. And we've been here for a good two weeks, three weeks now, and every day, I think there's only been twice when she's not been there, but generally every day we come for our lunch for a banh mi. And of course today is one of those yeah. days that she's not here. Do you know <laughs> where they do have good banh mi's? Just across, across the river the around here, yeah. So. Head in there next. <laughs> Our second best Bon Mi spot <laughs> in all of Hoya. And you even get free coffee too. So. Yeah, they give you a little combo, so yeah. a bit of a twofer. <laughs> So this place, just so you know, is called All Day Ban Mi. Again, it's like our second favorite Ban Mi place. We tend to like to go to like the local food stands, but since she wasn't there, this is a great stop. 
We got the two banh mi's and the two waters plus a free baguette with the promotion they got going on for just 110,000 dong. For our Canadian friends, that's like six bucks. So yeah. Not bad for lunch at all by any means. For those of you that don't know, a banh mi is basically a Vietnamese sub. Combines the French influence of the crunchy baguette with the local Vietnamese flavors and just a whole bunch banh of delicious. Banh mi's are served. Little baguette. As a side little promo it's so bonus. cute. It's, it's like tiny. A little, it's like a little grilled cheese and ham baguette, or grilled cheese and hot dogs. We'll take it. Now we've noticed throughout Vietnam, not all banh mi's are the same. Everywhere you go, they're all a little bit different. In Ho Chi Minh City, we kind of noticed they had less vegetables in the banh mi's. There, they had more meat, sausage, uh, pate. Here in Hoi An, we've noticed that they are always packed full of vegetables, which we love. As you can see in here, look how beautiful that is. One thing I've noticed too is with the banh mi's down south, they had a little bit more of that like meat floss, like the pork floss yes. and stuff in it. Yeah, and more pate, I noticed that too. Yeah. yeah. But here, the pack full of vegetables, they are so good. And look at all that sauce and deliciousness. Ready? Got it in ya. Ooh, and you can hear the crunch of the baguette mm -hmm. from here. Mm-hmm, it's amazing. Honestly, my favorite thing in Vietnam. I know it's so simple that a banh mi, just a sandwich, is my favorite, but they are always so good and so fresh. I love them, I have them every day. <laughs> and can't beat them for two bucks. Yeah. All right, now that we're done lunch, we've come and picked up the bikes. We're gonna head through the old town, down towards the beach, through some rice fields and stuff. Go check out what the old town's all about along the way though. Really excited, because we have yet to really explore the old town that much during the daytime. And we're gonna go check out some of the ruins and just historical features that the city has to offer. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Look at that. The Bamu Temple Gate. So I'm guessing this is the gate of what once was like an old ancient temple. Gotta be honest, we didn't really do that much research here, but it's absolutely beautiful find, hey? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> we met a friend. Yeah. Friend? You're, You're our friend. friend. We're a friend. friend. Yeah. Why not? Where? Where? You're right here, right now. Here now. Okay. <laughs> I'm very happy. Yeah. <laughs> you are lucky, right? Lucky. Oh, lucky. Yeah. yeah. He is, isn't he? Very strong. Very strong. Look at those muscles. Have a meet to mine tonight. Yeah? <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm taking. I've got my lady. This one is? Yeah, yeah this girlfriend. is the lady. Girlfriend. No. Girlfriend. Well, more than that. More than that. More than that. White. Ah, uh, somewhere in between. I yeah. <laughs> don't like to describe it or label it. I'm second white. Believe <laughs> <laughs> it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice meeting you. Yeah, see, see how healthy it is. Oh, no, no, no it's okay. No. It's, it's okay. okay. It's okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Thank, Thank you. you so much, though. There's definitely a lot of nice people here in Vietnam, that's for sure. But it always seems like they're out to get your money a little bit, some of them. <laughs> she started putting the... It's normal here, the, the ladies carrying the fruits. They're selling the fruit, but they're also selling for you to take a photo with the fruit basket. Yeah, yeah. So if they try to put them on your shoulders and then they're like, oh, take a photo, they're gonna ask for some money, which is cool. It's a good yeah, hustle. Yeah, totally, and yeah. rightfully so. They gotta but do what they gotta do. Be prepared, they're gonna ask you for money. So if you're not willing to pay them for the photo, don't take the photo yeah, with don't, them. Don't take the photo. Well, definitely a cool spot to check out. One thing we did just notice though, we went to the other side of the gate and the temple seems to no longer be standing here. But one thing we noticed as we're leaving here is there is like a big stone here with all the history of it. And it says that this is a linking gate of two architectural religious structures. All we saw on the other side of the gate was a school. 
And it says the first half was constructed in the 17th century. Yeah, so like we said, Real. history just flowing through the streets here yeah. in Hoi An. <laughs> These beautiful streets are going down. Nice little residential streets. Kyle's like, I think I know where I'm going. I think so. <laughs> We're on the adventure. Ooh, ooh, it's a little bumpy. <laughs> that was a bit dodgy there. <laughs> I had to really hold on to everything. It's really bumpy, so it's really hard to do it with the camera. Wow, we have made it! Oh my gosh, guys. This is beautiful. You can hear when I go on a really big bump, the bell goes off. <laughs> so you can see everyone farming. The rice season is well on its way. Beautiful and lush and green. Gorgeous. Here, we're just gonna take a pause because these guys here are actually flying kites up in the sky. They're huge. Very cool. kind of stuff this is what like traveling Southeast Asia is all about absolutely we got everybody in the rice fields working away a cloud of these dragonflies eating up all the mosquitoes it's a huge cluster of them what's a group of dragonflies you know like isn't crows murder yeah I wonder what a cluster a bunch uh, um, it's a murder of <laughs> dragonflies Murder sounds right when they're eating all the mosquitoes. Yeah, they're murdering <laughs> those mosquitoes. Yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. And look. There's one, two, three, four. Big kites up in the air. They are massive kites. Buddy so oh. was just, yeah, Buddy was just <laughs> wrestling them over there. Shit, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 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 We both say it at the same time. <laughs> We're in the world of wow. I love this. Now we press on to the beach. Do it. Let's do it. Let's check it out. Hopefully we can find it because our maps aren't working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We lost our GPS on the maps. We know it's somewhere this way. Let's go explore. Let's go explore. <laughs> It's kind of funny because we didn't have our maps working for whatever reason the GPS isn't working like we said so we had to stop off and ask this couple if we were going the right way to get to the beach. Here you go sideways. Right. So that, that 
which is the, the closest. Yeah. But then you need to kind of right and left. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, we followed the road to a T intersection. There's no roundabout. Do we go right or do we go left? Well, he said right, so let's roll the dice with right. We'll roll the dice with right. Okay. We seem to have made it back to the rice fields. <laughs> the exact rice fields we just biked through. We just did like a big lap of the town right here and can't seem to find where Buddy was talking about to get to the beach. Where's the beach? <laughs> and it's that time. We to... have a shuttle to take us out of Hoi An to our next place in less than an hour and we're kind of lost right now. So we might not be able to show you this beach, but thankfully we're going to another beach town so we can show you that beach. How are we going to even get back to the hotel? It's that way. That way, through the city, <laughs> where we don't know. We'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. Okay, so I guess we're gonna go back through the rice field. I'm disappointed we couldn't find the beach, so I guess we're gonna head back through the rice field and try to navigate our way through the city and try to make it back by five o'clock for our shuttle. We should be fine. Let's do this. Okay, okay let's go. We made it back to our hotel with three minutes to spare for our shuttle. <laughs> Just made it. Unfortunately, we didn't make it all the way to the beach today, but we got to see a lot of the old town, which was absolutely beautiful. Show you a couple of our favorite bomby spots at least. And of course, we got to make those lanterns, get our hands dirty with a little bit of local culture. Absolutely love it. And then biked around the beautiful rice fields. Can't beat today, can't beat Hoi An. I think it's actually our favorite place so far in all of Vietnam, yeah. for sure. We ended up staying here a bit longer than expected because we love it so much. Yeah. But because of that, we didn't quite get to check off some of the other regions and places we wanted to go here in Vietnam yet. We're thinking we might have to make a second tour of the country because there's just so much to see <laughs> and do. And when you fall in love with a specific place like we have, you end up just running out of time. Yeah. So that's a bit unfortunate. <laughs> but speaking of running out of time, we've got like two minutes to get into our shuttle and then we're off to the next place. So if you haven't yet, make sure to click subscribe, ring a ding ding dong that bell so you've been notified of our future videos. And until next time, bye. bye.